Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back, uh, back with quick hits. Um, wow, well, it, it's it's late. It's after midnight already. Uh, Emmanuel Navarrete survives. Oscar Valdez, how'd he do? Had the fight go? We'll break it all down. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, all right. Also, this will be the last show like this format. We're going to switch over to the Boxing Bookie. 3D Boxing will be your official Boxing Bookie. Um, Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments on that. Um, I'm going to bring you odds. I'm going to show you how to take down the house um, and and make some money off betting boxing, uh, working with DraftKings. Um, I'm going to bring that to you. Um, So that's big news. Uh, If you want me to do shows like this, let me know. Um, they don't get the biggest ratings, so uh, but we're gonna we're gonna try that. We're gonna switch the format over to the boxing bookie. Let's get into, let's get into today's, let's get into today's show. Um, let's get in into it. Uh, Emmanuel Navarrete and Valdez was a fun, fun fight. Really, really interesting fight. Uh, really, really good fight. Entertaining scrap. Um, Navarrete was clearly the better fighter. I had him winning. Um, I, I thought the scorecards were way too wide. I had um, Valdez winning some. I had him in the last round. I had him in the tenth round. Um, I thought Navarrete uh, faded late outside of the eleventh. Um, but the judges scored all the rounds. Uh, two of the judges scored at one nineteen, one hundred nine, and one eighteen. Uh, was that what one ten? So not close at all. I, I thought the fight was close. I, I thought he had rallied late, but apparently not. And and um, let me know how you guys had it. Navarrete won. I think we can agree on that. Navarrete won the fight. Um, did he win it close or he win it wide? I, I guess that's up for debate. But even the third judge had 16-1-12, so no one had it as close as I did. Um, and. Can we put to bed Oscar Valdez is good at boxing? I I, I know top ranks been done push him. I, I know we've been done said Valdez is good. You know people said uh, he, he, you know he was going to have a shot with um and you can pull my tape. Um, he was going to have a shot with Shakur Stevenson. I said that's ridiculous. I, I was surprised he did win a round or two. I was surprised he even was that competitive. He's not that good, guys. He's never been that good. Like what's like he? Yes, he's got the one big win. And I was dead wrong about that. Other than that, what's his next best win? Scott Quigg? Like, he's not what you guys think he is. Um, And, look, Navarrete is fun. Navarrete is trouble. Um, Navarrete would get killed. Navarrete would... would, Albert Bell would beat Navarrete, right? I I don't know if that fight's going to happen next or not. Uh, Albert Bell and top rank split. And now they're going to be asked to work together again. If that, I don't know if that's going to happen. But Albert Bell would beat him. Like he just outbox him. Like he's so easy to hit. And he's so flawed. Like he's just a moving target that can stick and avoid his shots. You beat him, right? Like he hasn't fought anyone really who who moves, right? And there's a reason for that. Oshaki Foster might kill him. Like like Oshaki um, is, is something more special. Um, I, I like Bell a lot, but Oshaki's got pound for pound talent. Um, Oshaki might kill him. Like that could be the end of Navarrete. What, what Shaki does to him, and you know, Shaki's a free agent right now. He's talking to all the majors. I hope he signs with Top Rank. I, I don't know if that's the best offer for him. I don't know if that's the best situation for him. But just as a fan, I'd like to see him sign with Top Rank. You know, we, we can go through the landscape of 130. It's not the best division. We did this yesterday on the Albert Bell show. Um, you know, 
if I could make two fights for Shockey, you know, it'd be one with Joe Cordina, one with Navarrete. Um, you know, get two more belts, and those would be the two fights I'd like to see him. I'd like to see him in. Um, we'll see how that goes. But look, Navarrete is fun. Like he's a rating star. He's he's fun. He's good for boxing. He's so flawed. If you put a, a boxer who can avoid his shots and move, put a mover in front of him, he's gonna lose. If you just it's just if you just stay straight and and you move, he can't hit you. Like he's so flawed. His punches are he's, he shows his punches and his footwork is so bad. Um, like he's got so many little flaws in him that you can that you can pick apart. And, and someone like Oshaki Foster. Or Albert Bell. Oshaki's got pop, so Oshaki might kill him, right? Um, Navarrete, I, I mean, Albert Bell was just out boxing for days. Like, you know, Shakur, oh, he, Shakur's gone. So, I mean, that's what we got. Um, it, it, look, it's a fun fight. Navarrete looked good. Navarrete may go on people's pound for pound list. I don't know. Right, three division world champs. He's got another one over Valdez. He's got good wins. Do you put Navarrete on your power panelist? I don't, but he's close though, right? Like he's close. In reality, he's probably got more good wins than Tank. Now Tank gets him in spectacular fashion, and, and Tank does things that are much more special, right? But Navarrete has some good wins, and Valdez even like look, he's a. I don't ever think Valdez was good. But the boxing community, for some reason, which I never understood, did. And so you got to give him credit for that win. I, I know some of y'all were picking Valdez to win. And, and Valdez, again, did better than I thought he would do. He really did. Um, but, yeah, that guy, um, you know, Valdez – his days as a world class fighter should be over, right? Navarrete's really good, but he's flawed. He could be had. Like I don't know what they're gonna do with the next. My guess is because this fight was fun, they're gonna do it again, and they'll make money on it. And I okay, but I have no interest really in seeing it again. I suppose I do because it was fun. I'll definitely watch it again because it was such a fun fight. But we already know the outcome, and that's the problem. Right, so like, let's move him along. Let's put him in with someone else. Uh, but I, I think we're going to continue. With... Oh, we're going to continue to see this. I think we're going to get a rematch. And like, they, like we had Morales and Barrera there. Like, this is not Morales Barrera. Like, n- n- neither one of these guys are Morales or Barrera. And, and the fight, if fight was good, it wasn't that. Um, but they keep trying to make it that. Valdez is not that good. Navarrete's good. He's floored. He's beatable. You know what you guys think? Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Remember, starting next week sometime, we're going to go to the Boxing Bookie, 3D Boxing, the official Boxing Bookie. Um, it is August 13th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.